Yo, guys, what is up? It's Teach here, coming at you again with another video over on Pal World, and I'm going to show you how to get an Anubis really quickly inside of this game. You can do it at, like, level 15, level 20. It's not very difficult to do, and, uh, yeah, you can see it right here. Basically, you just have to hatch it out of an egg instead. Now, there's a ton of different combinations that you can get. You can see there's my Anubis right there. And uh, you can basically use an egg in order to gather this. Now, Anubis is an incredibly powerful early game creature. And I'll go ahead and go to it just so you can see it. Because of the fact that it has a four star handling, three star uh, mining, and then two star carrying, it's really, really strong. It's also got some really good moves as well. Uh, so, yeah, you definitely want to get a hold of some Anubis. Now, they will spawn in at level one, but it's not too bad. You can see that right over here. I've got these huge rocky eggs. That is actually what Anubis comes out of. You can go ahead and pick them up. And in order to get him at a lower level, you essentially have to have a breeding farm built. Now, once that breeding farm is built, there's a bunch of different combinations that you can use in order to create an Anubis. However, the easiest early game build that you can have is working a Gobfin and a Suzaku. It will produce, in turn, every single egg will be an Anubis. Now, how eggs in this game work are essentially there is a combination for every creature in the game. You just need to get the right one. And uh, when you do get the right one, you will actually get the creature that you want out of it. And you can see that I don't know why he was over there, but uh, you can go and pop it in the incubator and then that egg will always be an Anubis. Now, that's really important for those early game, late I guess, late game grinding creatures. Because Anubis are so strong when it comes to actually harvesting metal and things along those lines, it's really useful to have a ridiculous number of them. I don't know what's wrong with this creature right now, but it is what it is. <laughs> He's going sideways. Um, that is kind of funny. I don't know what's going on, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> um... Yeah, so that's how you uh, go ahead and get the creatures. Now, for the Anubis, the easy way to get the Anubis is to do these two that I just talked about, because once you have these two in place, um, they will give you a bunch of uh, really early game stuff. Now, the Suzaku, I can show you where to get both of these, by the way. It's pretty simple. And all you have to do is throw them inside this. And if you haven't done breeding before in this game, you just put them inside this breeding farm, put a few veggie cakes, or not veggie cakes. Wow, I thought about Ark for a second there. Put a few cakes in there and they each cake they will produce one egg so you want to mass produce stuff for your eggs and that is how you produce these anubis now just so you can see the pal deck for them uh gob fins are probably the easiest of the two to get a hold of but again you can get a hold of them really early um where are the gob fins why can't i see it right now okay whatever um i probably went right past it but you can find gob fin on your own but Suzaku is kind of one of the later ones, and you can see that the habitat for it is pretty much exclusively on this island. But there's one little spot on the edge of this right here where they do spawn, and they'll be a little bit lower level. So if you can make it to this little edge right here, those Suzaku will be really easy to catch. Now, technically speaking, you can kind of get them over here as well, which can be really useful. And uh, yeah, that's that's how you're going to get a hold of that, because outside of that, Anubis can be very impossible, like literally impossible. You have to have them out of an egg or a boss based Anubis. Um, you can see that day or night, it doesn't change that. And then uh, the Gobfin, I know of a Gobfin spawn if I can't find it in here to show you. And am I, I think I might just be stupid. There it is, Gobfin. All right, there it is. So this is probably one of the easiest things, and you can also harvest a ridiculous amount of um, health. Uh, juice right here but this is like gobfin beach there's like 200 of them right here so as long as you hit this area up and this area on the corner right here you can actually get both of those creatures and then put them inside your breeding farm with some cake and you will get anubis out of it so that is how you get a early game anubis at like level 15 20 it's super easy to do and uh, yeah you should definitely take that strategy and use it so anyways hopefully this video helps you out and other than that teach wow.